Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hey yo, what's up? This is No Filter in Paradise. Here we go. You ready, Shaki? Clang, clang. Always. You're the little shit. You know, the letter. Ow, clang, clang, clang. We have to drink, though. What up? Hola, ¿qué me estás? No, what are you drinking? Sam, Hold just, on. it's you water. Drink? You can cheers with water. It's okay. I'm drinking Sprite. I'm going to diet. So, so am I. So that's what I name is. All right, guys, welcome to episode three of No Filter in Paradise, a podcast about anything and everything between two friends. As you know, one is straight, one is gay. Periodico. You know what the gay one is, as always. How are you feeling today, Shark? She is feeling fantastic, hella tired, but y'all ain't supposed to know that, so I'm going to just leave that why, there. Wait, wait, why are you tired? Because she went to the gym today and you she worked out. Gym? Yes. Really? That's, I'm like snatched already. Like it's been a week and you can see this waistline is already snatched. So shout out to Dwayne because that's my like my personal trainer. What do you train at? Cuts and Curve in Santa Claus, but I'm not going to say that. Rupaga, That's why. No, like they ain't sponsoring me. I'm not saying that. <laughs> so no Shit. shout out. I'm kidding. Shout out to Cuts and Curves. Hey, um, I just said no. What? I just said no. It's fine. Whatever. It's, you don't give a fuck. I do. <laughs> so we're going to talk about a few things today. Um, the topic of today's show is going to be something around dating, just so you guys everybody know, like do's and don'ts, and like the fucking, what do you call it, like the typical taboo or, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Taboo. No, it's something else. <laughs> Whatever, it's around dating. <laughs> so guys, just so you know, um, before we get into the topic of today, um, last week, Wednesday, we officially launched Elite Studios Aruba. If you don't know what Elite Studios Aruba is, it's a platform a social platform where we're going to have different shows, including this podcast, No Filter in Paradise, besides us. There's also two other show, shows. It's Spotlight with George for Slip. It's about fashion, makeup. Exactly. And then we also have Ivana Yancey, who's going to be with Balanced Lifestyle, and we're going to be talking about health, fitness, um, meal plans, and all that kind of healthy stuff that Shark should be doing, but he's not. Agree or disagree? I disagree. I just told you I'm going to die and I'm drinking water. Now you're going to say that? Did you just have a shot like 30 minutes ago? I did not. I skipped that oh, and yeah, you gave it to somebody yeah, yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, Thank true. you, next. No, she is on a sorry. diet. You're going to have my personal trainer I'm got me sorry. working extra. Hey, Be Dwayne, sorry. Make, it, make, him su- make her suffer, okay, at the gym. I'm going to fuck you up. <clears throat> Perfect. Bring it. I'll meet you outside after the show. Mm-hmm. I doubt it, but whatever. <laughs> All right. So, guys, I'll, just, I'll give you a little bit about um, Elite Studios. Um, like we said earlier, it's a platform with different shows. The goal is to educate people at home. Either is if you want to cook, if you want to listen to us entertain you about different topics and also educate you on different topics. And if you want to learn about fashion or makeup tutorials, you know, we also have that with George with Slip. But I want to touch on something because last week was a party. It was a great, it was a great launch. It, it was really was. It, it really was. was. We had a good time. Open bar. Shout out to they say all the other sponsors that were there. Um, Sharky had a really good time. You were dancing. I was, yeah. yes. You were enjoying yes. yourself? It was lit. I'm not even going to lie, y'all. Were you if you wasn't there, I'm sorry. Were you drinking? Oh, my God. <laughs> I did have, like... Exception. It's a an few exception. cocktails. I had a spritzer, and it was, like, it was What's... really watered down. Mm-hmm. I had a lot of ice, so technically I, mean, I didn't have a drink. complaining. It's fine. No, my trainers can see this, because I told yeah. them I didn't. Actually, before, I, before we continue, like, I want to say something, because like, I know... We got Ahmad, by the way, if you know who Ahmad is, he's a director, creative guy in Elite, and he's the guy that created all the stuff you see behind us, and all the ducks. Everything you see that's creative on Elite, it's all to Ahmad, who's sitting right over there. Um, I know he's upset about something. I, 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 we were trying to find out, or not find out, like we, something broke downstairs <laughs> that belonged to Ahmad. And we were trying to find out. We were trying to fucking find out who broke it. We approached a lot of people, including the person who's sitting next to me, and he just fucking denied it. Wait, what? I have a audio recording right here. Ah! Wait, what? No. no. We, we were asking, who this, this, who this, that, blah, 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 blah. Nobody asked me. No, but you were there when we asked about it. Who? So, Nobody right. asked me. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I never seen the magic for He feels bad. He's ashamed. He's ashamed. So, Chucky. <laughs> Yo, who recorded me? It don't fucking matter. There's cameras. Yo, Ash. There's cameras. So, Ash. is there something you want to say? 
What had happened was I was taking a picture. <laughs> of course you were. And I was posing, and from nowhere, this little statue came running up on me. By the way, this statue at- was a head who was my dance partner at uh, during live sessions with Ultra Part of Elite Studios. Um, yeah, you fucking killed my my dance partner. No, your dance partner wanted to dance, and I was taking a picture, and she like ran into Horde, yeah, and like she fell, yeah, yeah. and you broke it. What? And you didn't admit. You didn't say anything. You're I like, told Ashwin, he knew. No. Yes, I'm putting, I'm, no, I, he knew. You could have told the guy who fucking bought it. I didn't know he bought it. I just well, told Ashwin, I was well, like, hey, you know what, you what know, happened? The guy but, who's calling you, the one you, you're calling a shady bitch, bought it, and you don't, you don't want to apologize? I already. He's, no, no, he's over there. Look, <laughs> no, look over there. Apologize. Um, <laughs> Swallow your sorry. ghetto pride and say sorry. sorry. Like, I mean, I have to it, to be honest. It's a just falsa. My 10-year-old. Ten what? years. Ten years. What are you gonna do to make up for it? Um, um I heard Drew's Chris is open. Wait, what? What? We ain't even get no checks yet. No, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> look. I'm sorry. And look the ashwing that up on it. Like, why would you put it there? Like that person is to blame, I feel like. Okay, no, you know what? No, 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 no. Let me think about it. I think a good, a good okay like makeup would be if Ehmar can borrow Charlie for a day or two. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> that is nasty and unhygienic, and you are gross for thinking that. It and wasn't me. It was sure G. was behind the camera. <laughs> he just Gio texted. is shady as fuck. Like, I think we have to switch this crown. You finna lose it. Because, like, Gio, you? <laughs> tu? Tu vas a ver conmigo cuando esta cosa se acabó. Y Ashwin. Yes. Apparently, Shaggy's picking fights for everybody today. I'm, for, I'm ready to fight. All right, so, also, a um, big shout-out to... Uh, <laughs> Hey, what's up, Ashwin? Ashwin is our audio guy. Today, guys, just so you know, every single episode, we are not by ourselves in this room. We have multiple. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think Ricardo is downstairs. No, he's, he's in there. Back. Twelve people, 13, 14 people in this room. It's only gonna keep on growing every single week. So shout out to everybody who's coming here. Thank you guys for coming. Yo, I want to send like two shout outs real quick. Um, to who? as y'all can see, like this hair is like laid. So shout out to my barber, Abjanka, your, your barber? My barber is the best on the island, period. I don't care what nobody has to say. That's on that and that's on periodico. Do you know what I mean? Porta. My barber is Dwight Cock at Uptown Cuts. Yes. Uptown Cuts? Yes. And another one's on another shout out to like the person that helped us with our intro, the audio version. Exactly. Alimar. So shout out to Tribal Kush because he did shout that. Out, shout out. Also shout out to um, recent... Valentino Angela, who created the logo of No Filter in Paradise. Oh, yeah. So shout out to them. And also, shout out to Gio, who's the guy behind the camera. I ain't saying no damn shout out to Gio. What? I ain't saying no shout out to Gio. Mm-mm. Really? Gio out here dry snitching and whatnot. Uh-uh. <laughs> it, no, it was uh, Ricardo and Ash, not him. Ricardo? No, no. <laughs> but listen, so Travel Kush made the audio recent from Valentino Angela and Mario Gonzalez. They made our logo. And GU put everything together, which is the official intro of No Filter in Paradise. So shout out to these three, these three guys for making our intro super fucking cool. <clears throat> you that's, good? That's pretty much what they're getting from me today. <laughs> Moving on. So, um, guys, uh, shout out to also, like, last week on our show, we had a great reactions. Um, we had sexy on the show. And, by the way, did you pick up your toy or no? <sighs> you didn't? You did? I did. It's I'm afraid. I'm afraid to ask. Where did you bring it? I'm gonna tell you either way. You know me. <laughs> that thing is like so little. It's like <laughs> it's like this. Is that the picture I sent you? I don't know. I can't remember what you sent, but it's like, like this. Like a twelve inch, like. Oh no no dick. no! <laughs> wow, that thing just. I used it today because I picked it up today, and I used it today. <laughs> did you pick it up like three hours ago? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I can be wearing it right now and you wouldn't know. I wouldn't, I don't want to know. It's okay, but that thing is amazing. Like, you need to get one. No, like, it doesn't hurt. It's not okay. too big. It's not. You know why it doesn't hurt for you? Because you're used to it. Fuck you. My pussy's tight. Thank you, next. <laughs> what we're not finna do is call I, me loose. You know, I also picked up mine, actually. I didn't try it yet, but I'll let you know. Maybe on the next episode, I'll let you know how it Who gets how it a gift and not try it right away? That is disrespectful. I know, but like, Listen, if, if you held it or felt it, it's, it's, it has a weird texture. She's laughing, girl. She knows. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Oh. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Okay. Well, let's let's get let's get the show on the road. Yeah. All right, guys. So today's topic is gonna be about dating. We have um we're gonna be we're gonna be talking about certain taboos and st- certain stigmas, I guess you could say. Um, it's not only gonna be me and Charky today. We have two guests today who's gonna be representing the lady community. But we started to um, keep doing your thing. Keep going. Uh, yeah. Stuff. You just continue. Yeah. So we we decided to bring two different women. Um. One from the island Caribbean area, who, who's actually from, I'm going to let her introduce herself in a bit, um, but she's been living in Rue for about five years. And we also have another lady on the show who's from the States, from Boston, who's also going to introduce herself. So I want to call forward Darren and also Tori. Yay! Hey! Let's go, ladies. Start walking. Don't be shy. Walk in. I think they're a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit nervous because I think it's the first time they've ever been on a show like this. I doubt yes. it. Yeah. Yes? Yep. Mm-hmm. You were telling me earlier, I'm so drunk. Let's go, let's go get some drinks so I can feel better. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why, girl? It's normal. <laughs> For you. It's like OnlyFans. But <laughs> What do you know about OnlyFans? Your fans are, what? What? Hmm? Do you have OnlyFans? Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? That's going to be a different topic for another day. <laughs> so I'm going to let Derek, and Derek introduce yourself to the No Filter community and, you know, what do you do and all that shit. All right. So my name is Darren. I'm from St. Martin. Um, I moved to Aruba about five years ago. Um, are you going to ask me some questions? Because that would be really <laughs> funny. <laughs> what, do you, what do you do in Aruba? What do you do? Um, I have my own marketing company, Sage Marketing. There you go. I started back in... Um, October, it's going great. All right, so we got the representing the island ladies. Uh, on the other side, we have Tori. Hi, I'm Tori. I am from Boston. Um, I am an auditor. I am just here visiting the island. Um, my second time to Aruba. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Who are you visiting? Uh, you know, some friends. <laughs> okay, here. Man. Visiting you got some Crystal, friends. Crystal, you know. Mike. Shout out, Crystal, Shout out to Mike. Crystal. Wanderlust Jet Setter. Yeah, you know, if you ever need to book a flight or anywhere in the world, make sure you what, what Wanderlust Jet Setter. Yep. Yeah, the Wanderlust. Crystal Yeah. All right. Welcome to the show. Welcome Thank to the show. you. Thank so you. Let's get right into it. Uh, we have a, we have a few things, a few stigmas here and there when it comes to the dating community. Um, before we start, uh, have you ever been on a date, Charlie? Oh no. I fucking knew it. I'm a professional I side chick. I'm I know, a never. Girl, I'm a professional side chick. We don't do dates. Why not? No, because you're a side chick. Side chicks don't get to no, go on dates. No, there has to be time and place in, like, in the past that you have gone like on a one-on-one dinner or out drinking with somebody. Either gay or straight. doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Like, that. I don't really call that a date. But, okay, yeah. And what is a date? I mean, that, a date is when you do that with somebody that you're interested in. To me, that's what a date is. When you do it, like, okay, I like, I want to get to know you, and I'm interested in you, so let's go on a date. That never happened to you? I ain't got time for that, no. I go with my <laughs> friends if we're going to eat. What the fuck do you mean? So, I, I'm not, I don't care to get to know you. I'm a side chick. You just need to come with a bing, bang, bang, and goodbye. And get out the we door. We have nothing to talk about. Don't Thanks. tell me about your day and all that. Fine. Tori, what about you? I mean, obviously, ladies have been on like many, many dates, but... <clears throat> yeah, what about me? What about you? Well, how's how many? your dating life? Like, how, how many dates? Oh, oh, not how many. <laughs> but, like, how's your dates been? I'm like, um, good. Good. Do you like going on dates? Mm-hmm. You get, let me rephrase that. Do you like getting free meals? Oh! oh <laughs> no, you didn't. He took his dance. No, you, know you didn't. How is many that ladies what dating is? Yeah. Okay. You don't know. Should, like, how many dates have women have gone on, on to that men would pay for example should men always pay on the first date no i think so i think on the first date i like how you listen yes. to the camera like it's a fucking interview like <laughs> welcome to channel on 14 like <laughs> yes yes on the first date yes i Why? don't think that they they should like it's a must but it's nice if they they do and yeah i think like if the guy is the one who asks you know whoever asks is the one I mean, I, also, I agree with that. No, I mean, I also, I, I feel like whoever initiated the date should be the one to pay or at least offer to pay. I feel like most men, whenever they go on the first date, it's always, I think it's the natural way or at least the tradition that men should always pay for the girl, whoever he takes on a date. Because I feel like that's like the old school, like my parents, my grandparents, like, oh, I'll take you out. I'll pay for your dinner. But nowadays, every fucking woman wants to be like, oh, I'm independent. I don't fucking need no man to pay my shit. Right? Yeah, that's how I see it. I'm sorry. 
Do you um, pay for your own thing? Y'all ladies can take how you want to, but I'm going to just say this. Women are like more independent and they like fight for the to, for a seat at the table. So I feel like if you want to ask somebody out, like, you spend a pace. Like, we like, got some sort of feminist conversation. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, you fought like you want to respect in that level. Then I don't see why like if you, it's a first date, you can pay. Yeah. And, Thank you, sweetie. And I think it's just nice for um, a man to make a lady feel like a lady, you know? I mean, like... Not like you're just out with your guy friend here, you know? But I also think, yes. like, okay, so this is kind of like, at least where I see, like, an advice. Hey, we want to welcome... Uh... What? Chris <laughs> Matani to the show. Like, I didn't know he just arrived at the studio. But I also think that it's kind of it's kind of nice, like, well, for the ladies who are watching, um, like... Even though, like, he would probably end up paying, it would be nice to, like, hey, offer to pay. I, I agree. Although, no. although the guy, I know the, the, the reaction would be, like, no, no, it's okay. I'll take care of it. At least you offer. So that yeah. gives the guy an idea of, like, yeah. oh, well, yeah. this girl actually wanted to pay for me. And that makes you different than most girls who expect you to pay for them. I mean, I, I, yeah. would, I would naturally just do that. Would no, you? I, I would. I, and I have. But Mo oh. yeah, Mo yeah, I'm not gonna fight it, but obviously to be polite, I will say it. But Taylor, yeah, you like, should like, offer. Like you should like offer as a woman. Uh -huh. You should offer. But also, I think it's nice if the guy does pay for the yeah. first time because it makes you feel special, like you said. Yeah. Like, but and then, but then for how long does the guy have to keep paying? Like, okay, I get it. For the first time, like the guy would have to pay, but yeah, how long? So you start saying, hey, let's split the check or like, I'll take this no, one, you take I, that one. I would just already start from the next one. Like, okay, if, if, I, off, like, if I offered and he didn't take it, then I'll be like, okay, then I ha have the next one. If there's yeah. ever a next one, because you never know. Yeah, like, if ever there is a the next one. Well, actually, you know, like one date went bad that I actually forced, like not forced, but I was like, okay, let's get the second date out of the way so I could pay and then we're even and then we... And then like, oh, I'll never yeah. see you again? Yeah. Shit, you want to Oh, you a, a savage. Yeah. Ratchet. I was just Good like man. telling my friends, I can't wait like to get this date over with so I could just pay for the date. And, and then, then move on? Yeah. You I would pay for a date if it's like in a, like a, a snack truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking you to no truck? restaurant. I'm all about to pay. My, no my time, my time or uh, the other I don't stuff. care. I don't care. I'll pay a snack truck. I'm, I'm going to no expensive restaurant and paying. No way. Not you sure. got a little drive through at Wendy's? Yeah, like, I, I can do that. Sit by the beach, eat, and your dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Why? Stupid. Man, I mean, I know I asked a lot of people, like, oh, I, I did a poll online, which um, I asked, should men always be the one to pay um, on the first date? And I had, like, and it's actually 50-50. It's, like, 200-200 votes. Like, it's 50-50. I'm actually surprised. I actually thought a lot of people were going to say, yes, a man should always pay on the first date. So I'm actually surprised by that. I think by, like... The second day, if you've offered on the first and you've offered on the second and they're still like, the guy's like, no, I'm going to pay. Like by the third. What are you saying? Like, I right, just keep paying for me. Sorry. No, <laughs> you should at least like try to like sneak or like pick up the tab or somehow like, you make know, an effort. make an do, effort. Do you think some yeah. girls just take advantage and just like, like I'm going to keep Hell going yeah. on dates and like until I let him pay, let him pay, let him pay. I let do him pay. definitely think so. And, but and then, then, then the moment things switch, the girl's like, oh, fuck this guy. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to go on no. dates anymore. There are I, definitely girls like that. But I also think there's guys like their ego gets shot if they're not the ones paying for mm -hmm. the things or if the woman says like, oh, I'll pay. I don't know if I go that one. I actually, I like, a, I, <laughs> I, no, I, I, I don't mind paying on the first. Actually, I insisted, but like, I always prefer like, I would like if a girl, you know what? I'll cover this one. I'm like, okay, go for yeah. it. But like it's the fact that she took an initiative mm -hmm. to like, hey, I'll pay for this date. Yeah. I feel like Sharky is having a hard time following this topic. Nah, I'm good. I just not, he I doesn't know pay. what dating is. I know what a date is. I have friends and relationships that do that, and then they come talk to us about it. And then you hear Our all the drama. People, we're like therapists, but just un under. I mean, because you go on a date doesn't mean you're in a fucking relationship. Like that's what your aim is. I feel like okay, there's like we were talking about this earlier. Like the date or dating. Like, there's like I feel like date is just like. I'm gonna go out with somebody to meet the person and like see if I like the person or not. And dating is more like I want to consistently keep get to know this person better. Mm -mm, I'm gay. We got grinder. <laughs> <laughs> I can get all, to, all I need to know on right on there. And if I like what I see, then we can meet. That's it. I ain't got time for that. You don't? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Why not? Date is it's just not. Would you make time for it? Though? Like if if the right guy, I mean, I'm, if the right guy shows up. With a nice car, fat wallet. I don't care about your car. Wallet, yes. Fat wallet. 
Expensive <laughs> shoes, big I brands. I don't care for that. I don't like if you have too much brands on, that's a thrown off. That's a thrown off. Okay. Really? I don't like that. I don't like that. Like you're too flashy. Like ain't nobody got time for I don't like that. You're talking about you too flashy? I don't I'm not flashy. I don't, I don't wear name brands. I shop at La Ruba and all these type of places. <laughs> that's the one I shop the big ass that did on my show. Yeah. Listen. I don't I'll find the picture. I'll probably post it on our Instagram. On uh Go on uh, Elite Studios Aruba on Instagram and also No Filter in Paradise on Instagram. Follow both of us. I'm going to post a picture of Sharky being flashy as fuck. <laughs> Samil, all my clothes are from Fashion Nova and stuff Doesn't like that. matter, the Big Bird jacket. Fashion Nova. <laughs> really? Yes. Yo, I don't wear expensive. Like you were, Nothing I own more than 200 It's floors. like you're sponsored by Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like a cute yeah. outfit, but like she owns things. This was on sale. If it's not sale, I ain't buying it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm not rich. I ain't got time for that. If it's on sale. You take it. Yes. No matter where it's from. I go to Zara. I'm like, can you have something sale? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zara. Yama Sharky. Call yeah, Sharky. I don't care. I like sales. Not everybody likes sales. I, really like sales. I also sometimes pay for sales. Actually, most of the time, actually. That's Sorry, the only place I go for, for shopping. Uh, so, uh, what? Nothing. Jesus Christ. Sharky, you're off your game today. What's going on? No, nah, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> so listen, I gotta also, so do you guys think, <laughs> even the people who are watching here today, uh, do you guys think that it's all, should the, it, should the guys always be the one to ask the girl out? No. Like, no, but I feel like some girls always wait, like, why isn't he asking me out? Why isn't he texting me? Why is he doing this? Why does he want to go out with me? Girl, me? get your shit together. Like, it's 2020. Like, stop this no. traditional thing. I ain't got, no. Like, look, if you like a guy, I don't see why you can't slide up in his DMs and be like, Agreed. hey, papi, what's good? <laughs> okay, I don't like that. <laughs> like, no. But let, let's see. I'm with wait. you. I'm with you. No. But let, let's see from a, a woman's perspective. Do you think... Have you ever asked a guy out, like, instead of him waiting Can for you? Can we do, like, a poll in the room? A poll? Like, everybody raise their Okay, hands. by the raise of hands for the ladies, have you ever asked a guy out? One girl. That's my girl. I, One. Two. That's my two. Girl. I mean, in the audience. Our tiny fucking audience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, two girls. Out of One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You nine know, girls. I, don't, I don't see anything wrong with asking someone, like, hey, like, want to grab a drink? It's not that serious. I think I you can really think just... like, it's very attractive when a man is confident and he puts himself forward and out there. You know, like, if I'm interested in you, you're going to know that I'm interested in you. How? So, like, like... You want me to start? No, no. <laughs> like, like, just like, I feel like some, some guys might feel intimidated. Like, they're too scared of, like, oh, I, don't, I must... Well, I'm, if I'm you're afraid, scared, if you're no, scared, then don't it's, approach it's, me. No, it's not scary. It's, it's like, I feel like some Because guys, I will eat you. <laughs> But guys, guys, guys are made of like pussies now lately though. What? Guys are like real pussies. Yeah, like, like, yes. it's, it's fine. The roles you are, yes. it's, yeah, it's fine. You are what you eat, so it's fine. So no, know. that's not cute. Don't be a pussy, <laughs> ever. It's not cute. No, you know, it's you, not. You exactly, you get my point? <laughs> so it shows me like, it shows me character. No, I agree. But I mean, like, for example, like we had a conversation about one of our friends back home that, um, I, she was texting back and forth with a guy, and then the guy just like pretty much said, "Hey, like, enjoy your weekend." But she was like, "Oh my god, this motherfucker just cut off the conversation." She wanted to keep on going, so she was debating on should I keep on, should I initiate a, a conversation, and that's why we were all talking about it. And I'm like, "Listen, like I feel like most girls are afraid to initiate a conversation about, hey, how was your weekend?' Because they expect men to start a conversation, men to ask them out, men to, hey, you want to grab dinner, you want to grab a drink." I feel like maybe it's just in the States. I don't know. Maybe in the island of the Caribbean is different. But yeah, what happened? Caribbean like, men are no. more, are more um, manly, Ma I feel yeah, like. Yeah, much Much, much. Yeah, but that's ego. <laughs> and like, so I'm in the BC chicken No, but they're more, I feel like Caribbean men are way more confident than like American men. Yeah, yeah more no, dogs. I agree. <laughs> They are. They are more dogs, but that's what because they know they can get more dogs? girls. Okay, Samuel, let's not start. Ooh, let's start. I feel like let's that's like start. jab number two. <laughs> let's start. No, please not. The, the topic today is dating. For the I think in that specific situation, it was a little misleading where the conversation was going. But I do think, like after talking to her, like if you want to continue the conversation, then continue Go the conversation. Yeah. And at that point, if, if they don't give you the same, you know, if they're not meeting you at the same level, then like move, move on. on. Go, yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, even if, you're, if your friend, if she didn't initiate a conversation with the guy, 
because I know they went on a date afterwards. And if she didn't initiate the conversation, that date would have never happened. Yeah, if she didn't try to continue the conversation. So in other words, ladies, don't be afraid to, if you like a guy, just reach out. Like Charlie said, slide into the fucking DMs. It's like, hey, <laughs> Poppy, how are you? Let's go to the beach. Let's go grab a drink at Kraft. Let's grab a drink and get drunk at Gusto and see where the night goes. We all know where I the fucks with that. I'm sure you do, because you get drunk at Gusto a lot. Dwayne, I do not. You know, don't lie. You heard that right lying. here. What do you mean? I fucking make your drinks all the time. Exa- what do I ask for? Uh, the drink. The drink is called. Samil, get out the of drink here. is called Blue Balls, by the way. It's a blue drink. You fucking know exactly. Hypnotic. What are you talking about? It's hypnotic, motherfucker. Yes, but Samil, like I always get water, Dwayne, water just with make lime. Just making in the gym, right? Well, you a fucking liar. Not today. Not today. <laughs> so, obviously, you like shark, like. You know, you never ran a date, so fuck that. What's your worst dating experience? Um, well, actually, the person that I referenced before, so we went on a on a lunch date, and he t- he talked a lot. I could see that he was nervous. He, was, he was trying really hard to impress me, and it didn't feel natural, and he mm-hmm. talked a lot. Apparently, he thought the date was going great, that he wanted to go to the movies after, and I had to lie and say um, that I was supposed to meet up with a friend. So, um, is he local? But, like from yeah. Aruba? So, <laughs> but the thing was, on what, the date, he was what, like, no, no, no. On the date, he was like, really like talking about his future plans and goals about like family, kids, and everything. Oh, oh, oh. And I was like, you know, it, it was too much. Yeah. So um, then on that first date, he planned the second date. <gasps> What do you mean? Wait, hold up. What do you mean about second date? So what happened with the second date? Okay, so on the first date, he planned the second date, which I already didn't want to go on. But I could hit this guy's ego because he's what does really... Mean? I'm not going to give his name. <laughs> Mind you, if he's watching this, he's a really nice guy. <laughs> it was not my... Just, my just, there was no spark. There was no chemistry. Um, and anyway, so I think I dreaded the date for like three days or four days. It was during the week we went to the movies and I was just like bitching about it so much. Like, I don't want to go on this date. And then I just went. Thank God it was at the movie so we didn't have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Paid for the movies and um, then sent by. And, um, Did you ever saw him? him again? What? I know. Did you block him? I didn't block him. He kept messaging, but when I stopped answering. Anyway. Yeah, you had to block him. <laughs> I'm pretty no, sure when I stopped I'm answering, sure he blocked. understood yeah. and he didn't like me. For a while, mm-hmm. but now he is heard his ego. moved on and sure? has all of those things that he talked about on his, our first date. Um, so I'm happy for him. Can I was I not number? that girl for him. Mm-hmm. Can I have his number? He likes. He he's likes, taking. Oh, you're the side chick. Yeah, I yeah, forgot. Yeah, a, he likes. He yeah. goes after straight guys. Mm-hmm. Like he's like a. Home, he's like maybe a you home can convert record. him. Maybe he doesn't, he doesn't want to convert him. <laughs> Let's continue. All right, Tori. What's your What's your worst dating experience? Okay, so a few years ago, I went on this date with this guy, and it was pouring rain. We Mm. drove to this restaurant, and it was a very, very good restaurant in the area outside of the city. And so we got to the restaurant, and they were full. It was going to be hours before we can get in, so we, we couldn't go. So instead of driving into the city... And going to some other nice place, like backup plan, he went to the closest restaurant that was more local, kind of a place that nobody really goes to (laughs) that even lives in that area, and just was like panicked, all right, we're going to go here. (laughs) Sharky looks a little worried. (laughs) We went to dinner there, and there there was some interesting waitresses there. So, Like what? So while we're, you know, on this first date, you know, we don't know each other very well. Um, you know, just feeling it out. The waitress comes up to us and starts making very like sexual jokes. Aww. Can I ask that? Like, never mind. I was not saying me. But- <laughs> <laughs> so we're, you know, we're having dinner, and she, you know, keeps like looking at us like, maybe, oh, you guys maybe are she was dinner. interested like, in your date. It's your first date, you know, like, and we're like, yeah, like, you know, leave us alone. I'm like, thank <laughs> you, and we're trying to eat, and like, and then she comes up to us and asks like. Do you guys want dessert? And we're like, no, no, we're okay, thank you. And she's like, oh right, dessert comes later, right? <laughs> and we're like, um, who the, who the fuck says like, that on a date? Yeah, like in a restaurant. okay, it was like, super like, awkward, super awkward. So how was the how was the vibe after she said like between you and the guy? 
It was it was kind of weird. Like he felt bad, I felt weird. Like it was. Maybe just... he felt hopeful. It's like, hmm, what are you doing? <laughs> Y'all drove in the same car. Yeah, yeah. So he picked me up, and we drove together. And an I know it was like I was relying on him for the the restaurants in the area, and it was not a good showing. So guys, have a backup plan. Yeah. There you go. If you you know take a girl on a date and you can't get into the restaurant or something happens, have a plan B because exactly. I did not talk to him after that. It was super so wait, awkward. So his dumbass didn't make a reservation. No, he just wanted to do a walk in. Yep. Mm. Boy, bye. Yep. It was not meant to be. No, Good thing you no. got a red flag. Not meant to be. Not mm. meant to be. We didn't got time for that. You guys have nothing. What? What? I have time for things. It's just not that. Like what? Like rich ass guys that will take you to like, I don't know, the BLT? No, we don't do dates. I just told you that. But rich ass guys, for sure. Mm. What's your number? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> You've been trying to get this fucking number for three episodes. Just keep um, adding the numbers yeah. together. Yeah. Piece, exactly. piece them together. It starts with a seven, right? For sure. <laughs> I mean, I don't have, I can't think of any, um, like, worst date experience. I can't, right now, out of the top of my head, I can't think of it. I was thinking all day, like, what's, like, a really worst experience for myself, but I can't think of anything. But. Then what's your best He's like, I make all the dates so great. <laughs> I think we're supposed to ask the girls that he go on a date with, because I think they would have, like, a different opinion. <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Maybe we should fucking bring exactly. all of them here. Like, hey, what do you think about Samuel's dates? Um, they would all they in the room, the honey. What? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's facts. Have space here. There's not enough space. You <laughs> uh, might be right. No, I'm just kidding. No, I mean, I mean, the most memorable one, like Tori is asking, I'm like, I think. <laughs> I know, I gotta be careful what I say because she might be watching. No, I think uh, it was a, uh, probably was a girl that I met while working. And um, we probably met on like the beginning of the week. And uh, I mean, we really hit it off in the beginning. We were we, good sarcasm, good jokes back and forth, a lot of dirty jokes back and forth. And uh, like, it's just jokes, all right? There is a humor, you have a lot of it. <laughs> Not for dating, but okay. It, we weren't dating. You don't date. But we weren't yeah, dating. We no, date. it was, no, it wasn't dating, it was just, we were at the bar, we were just drinking, having a good time, I gusto, so you know, I just like, we were just buying shots back and forth, it just, you know, us having a good time, and she was there with some friends. But then, and at the end, I ended up asking, hey, what are you doing on like Thursday night, which is my day off? And we ended up going, like, we had dinner, we went to Asia and then we had like a more like deep conversation. We talked about different things and life, blah, blah, blah. What do you want to do? Um, and then we started going towards like a more of a, like a, <laughs> like everybody knows where I'm going with this conversation. Where? <laughs> but we're at Asia. We're at Asia. Where's it going? After, wait, after a few cocktails, <laughs> things starting to loose up. We were joking, yada, 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 yada. And then we went to the, like a, more of a sexual conversation. Like, what are you interested in? What do you think about this? Most of the things that we talk about are no filter. That's the kind of conversation we had. And then we came on the topic about like sex toys and shout out to Sextasy. Um, Cause that's where I'm going with this conversation. And so th- throughout, the, th- throughout the dinner, I asked her like, what's like a crazy, what's like a crazy, like, like not fantasy, but like a thing that you've always wanted to do. It's like, oh, it's the whole idea of going out and like having on vibrating underwear. And I'm like, oh shit. Oh, shut, so you buy it for her. Shut the fuck up, I'm nothing. <laughs> like, hey. Carlos Pérez, which is a bartender at Asia, hey, give me the check. We're getting the fuck out of here. What we did, we just hop in my car, and instead we were supposed to go to Gusta after dinner, and then we just ended up going, get in my car, and we drove to Sexacy, and I know Lionel is watching this, and so because they were fucking there when I was there, and I bought a vibrating underwear, I bought some extra stuff, and then I went back to the car, she wore the vibrating underwear, I feel like she's fucking watching the show right now. She's like, oh, and um, yeah, and then we were at Gusto. I had the remote. And the whole time, like, whenever I'm out somewhere like away, I'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that's pretty much the story. Wow. So it's it's more like that's a memorable one because we were having a really like it was a fun, like we had like a really good conversation at dinner. We went over to like see, we got a sex story, a vibrating that was your on the first date with that person. I just met the girl like five days prior. Holy shit. Sis, you a hoe, but I'm, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud of you. No, listen. I'm pretty sure everyone's fucking watching. Like, wait, hold up. Did she keep the toy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, you smart shit? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's how you do it. No, listen. It's like what we said. In the, no, we had this conversation in the previous episode. If you haven't watched the second episode, we had a talk with Sexy, which is number one Caribbean, number one sex shop in the Caribbean, and we talked about it. We said. Whenever I buy a sex toy for a lady, she keeps it. I don't keep it because it's fucked up. I have to reuse 
the same toy with another girl. I think she knew about that sto- that like that already. So she, she took like, advantage. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. I'm gonna go get a free did toy. You pay, this did ass. you pay dinner also? <laughs> you see what I, girl? You see why? <laughs> yes, that is gold. Like, you ready? Yes, That's how you do it. That's how you do it. She is. Now but, you guys know. Mm-hmm. See if you want to have a really good dinner. <laughs> yeah, look, if you want those vibrating panties, call the meal. And some, and some. If toys. you want to have a very good, unforgettable night. Yes. Don't call me. Call Sharky. Call I'm, Sharky. I'm about to call you. Like I want free food <laughs> and a toy. Wait, what? Oh, fuck you, no free we food. We having sex though. If I went out with you, I'm gonna fucking make you pay. Yeah, we're I'm, we're gonna have to wash some dishes because I. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's for me. That's mo- that's the most memorable thing. Because it was like, how many people? Like, I'm pretty sure whoever is watching. Like, imagine if you had like a. I mean, you probably can't fucking relate. But imagine you had a boyfriend. Like, hey, baby, let's go to Sexy City. We're gonna buy a toy and we're gonna go out to dinner. You're gonna wear this toy. Like, but it's like it's something that's happening between the both of you, and nobody oh, knows it's happening. Yeah, boyfriend. I thought we were talking about dating. That's why. Yeah, that's right. Why. Like, right. Yeah, like, <laughs> damn. Like, I love you. But you know what I mean. Out. You know what I mean. Like, that's one date you'll never fucking forget. Yeah, but that's your boy. You just said boyfriend. Yeah. Boyfriend. Thank you. Like, okay, totally fucking different. fine. If you imagine, imagine you went on a date with a guy, and he's like, hey, you know what? Oh, that's that- weird. A first date you're why? getting. If, if, a girl t- if a girl tells you, like, oh, what? this is my fantasy, and you fucking make it come true within 30 minutes, how is she gonna, how, how is she gonna be thinking you're creepy? Sam, like, I'm just letting you know from, like, a gold digger standpoint, See, I'm gonna keep talking to you. Like, oh. I will continue talking to you. Because you're, you're a gold digger. You just, all, yeah, all you want is free food and money. Yes. And, I'm gonna use that toy with another dude. And I'm gonna be like, hey, look. This this stupid guy just bought me this toy after I met him for five days. So um, I'm, I'm gonna go on guy. another date with him to see what I, guy. I can get out of him. I'm a stupid guy. I didn't call you stupid. You just said stupid guy bought this toy. I'm the guy who bought this toy. Did you end up dating the girl like after? Did you, did it become something a bit more serious? She doesn't even live in the town. Um, we know you like them. In <laughs> oh. Shout out to who? Whoever is watching. It's red, white, and red. That's a flag. White. Huh? Red. Huh? Switzerland? Oh. Like, what do you, What kind of country are you talking about? America? <gasps> Whoa! Oh, mother <laughs> It took me a second to realize which country. You know my weekly shout outs. <clears throat> I appreciate it. What You're is welcome. your most... We're moving on, guys. What's your most memorable date? My most memorable date... Um, actually... It, it's gonna sound like really cheesy, but it is the one that comes to my mind. The first. I mean, listen, every girl has a different perspective. Like every girl that's here in the in the room is everybody has a different perspective on what a great date is. What what we what I did with this one chick, it's not the same for applies to you or to mm-hmm. her or to anybody else. Like everybody has a different perspective. So that's why we have different people here to yeah. say what their perspective is on the date. Well, um, my most memorable <laughs> It's it's a clown. It's fine. <laughs> it was nothing kinky like that. Um, the guy after our dinner dates, after talking for a really long time, he surprised me and he took me on a little dinghy boat in the lagoon late at night, and wow. we sat in the dinghy That's and wow. stared at the stars. On the fucking dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was super cute. Fucking splashing water, and it goes fucking your makeup. Like yo, what the fuck? I did my hair. What the fuck? <laughs> That's that was cute. cute. Okay, awesome. I mean, I'm not Thank here to you. judge. No, I'm not here to judge. Such a hater. I'm not a hater. I mean, it's a vibrator, sounds better. But okay, go on. <laughs> so yeah, that was it. It was really cute. I'm joking. And, yeah. I mean, yeah, the guy didn't. It didn't is, stick is for me, but from I said the lagoon. Do we have a lagoon here? <laughs> Guys, if you ever need a marketing consultant, do not call Sage Marketing. <laughs> That's her company. Oh, she did that. She did that. She's an ass. I don't know. Maybe you should learn it. I think it's a place called Spans Lagoon. I don't know. Maybe you should. That is. Anyways, no, he's not oh, from what? here. No? Okay. <laughs> I could have saved myself. Denmark. <laughs> moving on. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Where was this? If it's not a robot, where was it? St. Martin. St. Martin. I don't fucking know. I'm only asking. God, I feel like Stop. I'm being attacked by everybody I, back here. I did have a dating life before Aruba. So. Okay, cool. Okay. Welcome to Aruba. Where we don't have lagoons, apparently. <laughs> the Spanish lagoon. The Spanish lagoon. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Mi nombre es Shark Periódico. Uh, no, she don't say that. <laughs> More Spanish lagoon. Let's um, go, Tori. What's your... Uh... 
most memorable. Do you know your name is like a whorish name? Like it's like hot, mm-hmm. Tori. I think that's sexy. I know a whorish name. Yeah, I think it's sexy. Like, wait, what's a whorish name? Like, hi, my name is Tori <laughs> or Ashley. I think those are sexy names. Or Tricky. 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 I like, that. I like, I like a stripper it's name. Sexy. Is Tori a stripper name? Why not? Yes, Tori. You guys or think Tori is a stripper? Yeah. Name? It's hot, right? It's a hot name. What's your full name though? Victoria. Oh, okay. So Tori for short. Tori is the nickname. Okay, Laura she got Tora it. Laura on Instagram. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Bob. <laughs> Slide in my DMs. <laughs> 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 you know. Easy now. Um, so most memorable date. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say this one guy took me to a New York Yankees game. Oh shit! Oh wow, he got money. Go, hey, shut up! The Red Sox. Where did you sit? And the Bogarts. We um, don't like the Yankees. Right field, not like super close, but like you know, midsection. It was good. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we we went. Could to, have done better. We did um, some rooftop bar hopping. Oh. So we did the Loopy Doopy Bar. In New York? Yes. That's expensive. In New York, yeah. It was really fun. They have popsicles that are vodka popsicles in champagne. Super cute. You guys should go. And um, I think Funky Buddha was another one. And then, you know, just kind of hopped around. It was really fun. So that, yeah. That's yeah. it? Like, had many, many, many. Yeah, she's 23. She has many more dates to go on. No, no, no. Trust me. Them. Them, New, them New York you rooftop parties? Yeah. They hell expensive. Yeah. Like, you have to be like dressed a certain way to even get in. Yeah. I feel like that's the kind of party Shrike would go to because uh, hell yeah, Shrike, we should the go. money guy. Yes, yeah, bro. I'm going to let you know when I'm back in there because right yeah, now I'm broke. Yeah, we'll no, no. sugar daddies and we'll go. No, but I have, a, I have a question. I have a question. What do you guys, for the ladies Shrike, well, you didn't go on fucking dates. This is like the worst topic for you because you can't relate to almost anything. He has input. I'm waiting yeah, for, I'm, listen, I'm if you're watching, do me a favor. When I, I'm, I'm thinking. I was, I was going to say like, some, where, when it all ex, semi expense paid dinner with Sharky sponsored by <laughs> Elite Studios, <laughs> aka Chris Matani. If Chris going to pay, then um, just let me go alone. I don't have to go with nobody. <laughs> No. No, I'm kidding. No, but my question is, what's your opinion on, even people who are here today, what's your opinion on kissing or sex on a first date? No. Do it. No? No? I, no. You know what? You're, you're fucking liars. You're liars. And he goes, oh, no, no, no. Fat wallet, big dick. Oh, no. Okay, okay. You can no. say in general. No, no. You can say in general. I'm Maybe no. one or two. Listen, times. I'm gonna go to my <laughs> fucking IG. <laughs> right, right. Okay. I dated once. Your name is? Your name is? Eight years. Wait, what? Yeah, she did it once in my life. I dated once and it lasted eight years. Yeah, I think you should. So you slept with you slept with somebody on the first date and you guys were together for eight years? Yeah. So in other words, <laughs> if you wanna <laughs> what? In last ten, <laughs> last ten, so I don't know. But if if you sleep with somebody on the first day, it's not bad. I mean, in my opinion. I mean, it depends. Like everybody. I don't. <laughs> I keep fucking up my laptop. All right. So she said, eight years. They um they were together for eight years, and they slept with each other on the first date. Yeah, but I what I'm saying is like everyone dates for different reasons. True. So, I mean, what works for her is not going to work for everyone. True. And, um, yeah, I won't, I won't judge a person who does, but I personally wouldn't because I'd like to get to know the person. And that's You're more of the emotional instead of the physical. Like, I want to get to know you, who you are, do you have any goals? Yeah. It, it could much. be also, it depends on how the date goes. Because, like, you can have, right. like, a first date that might be... I'm just saying, Samir. I know, like, what the fuck do you know? You know what I'm saying? You can date. keep that judgment right over there. <laughs> Anyways, like she was saying, <laughs> like you can be on a date and like maybe that would like you went on a date last week and with, with this guy and it was like, OK, you know what? I don't, I don't see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then you go on a date with this guy this week and like y'all talk like endless conversations in the restaurant and y'all like y'all don't have enough. So like, OK, Is let's go. Chem- like, a lot of chemistry. Yeah. Like you yeah. want to go to like, OK, you go to the beach. Y'all talking, talking, talking. 
that's a whole different thing. And then, you know, bida boom, bam, bam. And it just happens. <laughs> chika boom, chika boom, chika boom. And you get that out <laughs> yeah. of the way already because then you're like, okay, you know, you were good, good. So, yeah, but like, I see this happening. Don't you think the guy would think, oh, like, she was so easy on the first date? Like, no. I think it depends on the vibe. And I feel exactly. like it's there for both people. Yeah, but yeah. I do think if you go on like a first date and it's like some drinks after work and you're there for like an hour or so, then, you know, you see how the conversation goes, you see the connection, and, like, maybe not the first time, maybe, you, you know, you're just, you're just seeing how it goes the first time, and then, like, the next date, maybe you're like, okay, there is a better connection, or in that first date, you're like, okay, I really don't see this going anywhere, and then you move on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I fucked with that. You f- <laughs> yeah, she fucks with that. I feel the same as, like, a kiss, too, on, like, the first date. Like, I, I, it's, like, if you feel it and it feels right, then do it, but I... I don't know. I've been on a lot of first dates, and sometimes it just doesn't doesn't, doesn't end. And I promote a kiss because a kiss can tell you a lot. Like yeah, if you're a bad kisser, never. Oh my god, point. that's a turn off all but, the way but, off. But, 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 okay, you know, but like a kiss and sex can be so much more better and intense if you like know the person and you have feelings. And yeah, but it, 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 more like there's more. She's trying to relate. That's, that's emotion. They're trying to relate to that. Yeah, I, don't do I mean, that, I, but, I can't move. But I, I, can't but I understand relate. what you mean. I understand what you mean. But, but you, you, need, you need to feel that like, spark. The older like you, you get, go in. what you're looking for in a person changes. Yeah. So, so do much. you think you need to establish a friendship first? Yeah. I fucks with that. I think like yeah. a guy's best chance is to be my friend. Or bring mm-hmm. each other more. Crave uh, yeah. Cra- Ooh. yeah. Ooh. Somebody's gonna yeah. crave each other more. Ooh, like, like I really want that. Really that is want hot. Yeah. Yeah. Like I want to crave somebody. No, I don't. He's like. I, like, I just saw something, sorry. We'll bleep that out, don't worry about it. Yeah, and then like... <laughs> I'm gonna get fired from this you, place. You, you have to have like some excitement, something to look forward to. If you just wham bam from the beginning... Wham and bam, then, thank you ma'am, like Sharky. Yeah, <laughs> there's, what is there to look forward to? Like you already saw the person's most intimate part. Just enjoy the beginning, there's no rush. Yeah, but what if, what if there's drinks involved? Well, then shit happens. <laughs> good shit. In other words, take her to Gusta and have a good time. Good shit. So... <laughs> Um, what are you looking at? I'm sorry. <laughs> Is there anything you want to add to this little dating conversation? Would you ever go on a date? Uh-uh, I know. Listen, I know professional side hoe. I know. I get it. Been there. I don't want to say that. But yeah, I'm, I, I don't know. I've been there, but. I probably listen, I, you're I, gonna I go, would. You're gonna, I think what you're going through, it's a, it's a hoe phase. You, you say that now. How old are you again? She about to be 27. Oh, but oh, I, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, next your birthday is in Monday. It's Monday, but we're celebrating at oh, craft it's, on it's Sunday. It's next week. Oh, it's next week. Exactly one week from today. Mm-hmm. That's what mm-hmm. she just said. So yes, what are you gonna? But you're celebrating Sunday the 26th. Yes. So if you're watching this episode, which is on Wednesday, next upcoming Monday, it's Sharky's birthday. So we'll see everybody the 26th at Craft House. For so brunch. if you're watching craft, if you're watching Lola, have you know a lot exactly of champagne. Exactly who you are. Have please a lot have of champagne, champagne for this guy, and let's you know fuck him up. Don't call me nobody. <laughs> <laughs> nobody on the first date. Just kidding. No date. Okay, but like, but like, let's talk about like, when you're on a date. Have you ever experienced a guy that's always on the on their phone the whole time? Like, like you're sitting having dinner and they're like, okay, great, yeah, awesome. Yeah, I had a boyfriend that was just like that. Okay, but, shit. But that's all. Shit. Not not a first date. I mean, then yeah. then you're, that's just horrible. But, yeah. I mean, you are like that yourself. Ooh. I'm on my phone a lot. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's I'm working. You're talking about today. So how do you know the guy is on the date is not working? Because you're on a, you're on a fucking date. You you if block you, out a certain hour to spend work. time with this girl or guy. Okay, but you were spending time with her today, and you it was you work. Keep kept on your. Phone. But it was work. I hope so. I was working. She don't look. She don't, she don't look like that. Aruba. She don't look like like you were working. So, you know what? She was bitching the whole time. Cause you're where not the fuck is this guy? I'm over there. Like you know what? I don't care. It's, I'm just working over here. Like, you fucking nag on this side. I'm gonna be over here and just working. Sorry, did you have a guy that was always on his phone? Yeah. On his dates? Yes. Yes. Oh. And we have friends in the room. Friend. So I, it is different. Like, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> You really, you really want to go this, this route? No. I, I do feel like on first dates, most guys are like, you know, no, interested really in what you have to say. So they're not always on their phone. But I will say, in, like, in relationships, that was a big pet peeve of mine. Uh-huh. Like going out to dinner and that person always being on their phone. It's like, yeah, why am I here? I mean, so in, other words, like, in other words, when you're on a date, guys, or yeah. girls, because yeah. girls always be texting, sliding in other 
you know, guys DMs with more money, but sorry. Of course, saying yeah. Because you're a gold digger, you know. Damn right. <laughs> Do me a favor. Put your phone on silent. Throw it to the side. Put it upside down. Unless you're with your girlfriend, keep that shit like this. Because then you're gonna think, why you gotta put it upside down? Wait, well, my phone is texting you. No, <laughs> no, but That's you know, ridiculous. you know, no, it's I, true. But then so if you have that, if you have, I, I've experienced. Like, why is your phone upside home. down? What do you, what no. do you expect no. from that? No. No. no, I'm sorry. Like I, I used to be. That, look, I feel like. Where's my look, drink? You, no guy should give a girl. That feeling that he needs to hide what he needs to hide. But, but a girl needs to respect, like, this is his phone. Mm -hmm. If you feel like you can't trust what, that he's hiding something, then that's a fucking red flag. Don't be in that relationship with him, period. Yeah, I feel no, like that's, that's a good that. point. Sorry. That is a good point. I, but I, don't, I don't agree that turning down your phone means that you have to be to hide because I do it myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just a habit. It's, it's just, just like, this, it doesn't distract me. I don't see that the message is popping up because when I do, my attention goes there. This is proper etiquette, though. It is? I yeah. mean, listen. It if, depends on the phone case. Like, I mean, I don't think necessarily when you always turn it over that you're trying to hide, hide something. something. No. I mean, there are guys that are trying to do that. No, but, but proper but etiquette, you're supposed to put your phone like this on, at the dinner the table. Person. You're supposed to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The phone should not even be on the table. Period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. But, yeah. but I, I don't. I, I see some girls like. I think you should respect, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like, the That's other person. Right like, there. you don't need to go through their stuff. Because you know? you're, yeah. you, you're about to find something no. you didn't want to see. And yeah. then you can't get butt hurt because now you saw it because you looked for it. <laughs> you get butt It's funny you saying butt hurt. Do you, have you ever gone through someone's phone? Me? Yeah. No. Girl, I, I, mm -mm, I ain't got time for that. Yeah, don't need it? Mm -mm, you got to I like, me go. I've never. Have you been through a guy's phone? I think it's really good. guy's phone? Not phone, but I'm, I will not lie. <laughs> I have been through their Facebook. Ooh. It was on my laptop, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, but never phone. Never phone because he never I, let I his have. phone go, so. Oh. <laughs> he was a cheater. Irrelevant. <laughs> what he was. No, I, I, maybe I've been once or twice through a phone, but like I had my reasons. I if you suspect something, then you have, I feel like you have, well, you, there's two ways you go. Either you confront the person, or you just go behind their backs and try to find out by yourself. And then you find something, then you fucking confront the person again. No, that's ridiculous. No, you no. know, I, I think what, you should what just... What if you confront you? You look like you a fucking just, fool. You should just... No. If, I mean, if you if you already feel it, you mm -hmm. should already know, okay, shit is up. If, yeah, if that your means partner's your partner shady. is making you feel insecure exactly. and doubt. So you, I mean, I learned my lesson from that. I just think you just need to just call it quits and don't get... Yeah, like Snoop, find yeah. out what you got to find out and be like, you know what, <laughs> goodbye. Like, thank you next. <laughs> No, it's stupid. I want, Have I you ever gone time. to a girl's phone? Don't lie. Once. If I, I mean, if I felt like there's a reason that I had to, then I would. And then? And then I ended up being right. Oh. And then? And then that's that. Bye. It was nice to meet you. Oh, okay. Nice to, nice to know you. Let's never do this again. <laughs> yeah, super but I have a few, like, what are do's and don'ts? Like, for whoever's watching, like, I mean, we, I know we're talking about different dating, like, dating stuff and dating experiences because we all have, date, like, dating experiences. What are do's and don'ts? When it comes to like dating, for example, you had an experience. You just said like this guy was so full of himself. So like, in other words, like don't like I whoever's watching. If you're a dude and you're going, or even if a girl, if you're going on a date with somebody, like don't don't make it all about yourself. Like you're there to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. I assume, right? Yeah. Like, you're here to ask questions, know each other, know other different people. And, yeah, um, and and I think it's important like to be natural, to be yourself. Like I'm, I'm there to get to know you. You know, yeah. I right. understand some people might be nervous. I don't know why. Some people might be intimidating. Like, oh, for you, are you trying to say that I'm intimidating? I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so um, yeah, I think with that was, with that reaction yeah. now, I think you are. <laughs> I think you should just be yourself, be natural. Don't try to impress someone. Like you know, trying to sell yourself in it. I felt Too that much. on that on that the on first that date. date. Yeah. No, I think it's it's pretty like both ways, you know, conversation wise. But I do think in those conversations you should be who you really are. And if you're trying to make it seem like you're cooler, you're you know more active than you usually are. Like you know, you like I don't know. If you're just not being yourself and being genuine, okay. then that person's gonna like you for what you're saying you are, but not. Like, they're going to find out eventually mm -hmm. that if you continue dating, like, that they're not that same yeah. person. So, so in other words, like, if you portray somebody that you're not from the beginning, and then let's say you ended up having chemistry with a person that you're not, this person is going to like you for the fake person that you are, and then later in the exactly. room, it will expose yeah. you to be a fucking fraud and an asshole for mm -hmm. wasting her time. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, that's low-key everybody, though. I feel like, I mean, everybody, um, like... I mean, I, some people. I adds a little extra You know, zest. the more we talk about dating, I'm more, like, thinking, like, he's right, you know? Like, <laughs> fuck dating, you know? It's like... <laughs> fuck, did you want to skip dating and go straight to the action? Welcome to Bad Bitchery. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I want to say real quick, um, for everything we talk about today, if you have a comment, if something you, you want to say, like, we have a comment section. Comment, like, if there's something you agree or disagree, write it down below in the comment section, whether it's about <laughs> dating, whether it's about... Sex or kiss in the first date. What you know? Tell us your worst dating experience. Tell us your best dating experience. We're gonna talk about it on the next episode. Fuck. Maybe we'll even bring you. If you wanna be on the next episode with this little crowd that we have, Ow. you wanna be with us? Just comment in the comment sections. Follow us on No Filter in Paradise on Instagram, and also at least two of us on Instagram. Follow us, and we'll pick two of you. You and a friend can come next week to our show and sit with us. We're chilling. We're drinking lots of water. <laughs> with Sprite and Coke, whatever he's drinking. What a vodka Sprite. <laughs> All right, so just comment down below, whatever you want to comment. And if you think there's a certain topic that we should talk about, Let whatever it is, whatever it is, right? Just tell me. Because Sharky is ready. In the comments. Right just make sure it's not about dating, because apparently Please, no. he has no <laughs> fucking knowledge. But according <laughs> to her, he's a right. I don't get it. How do you write with no experience? How you write with no experience? I mean, like, w what we just said, a lot of people are kind of just, like, pretending and trying to sell themselves great in the beginning, and then they turn out to be someone they're totally yeah, not. Yeah, that's a good mm -hmm. one. And for everybody who's, like, for all the guys who are watching from Two Girls, you're going to hear, what are topics that men should avoid to have while you're on a date with a girl? Does that Talking about other girls. <laughs> like, like come on. Uh, all these girls are like, fuck, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> uh, your ex. Yeah, don't talk about but your have, ex. Have you guys had that before? Like, you go on a date with a guy, and the guy's like, oh, my ex-girlfriend this, or this girl has, has it yeah, happened? Yeah, like, yeah? we're not living in the past. I'm not your therapist. We're not here to talk about your past relationships. Let's just, you know, let's just leave that in the past. That's then what, what should guys, like, okay, for guys who are watching, like, I'm only asking them and people that were sitting over here, like, what are topics that guys should talk about? Like, what, given whoever, whoever the dumbass that's listening has never been on a date before, <laughs> It has no fucking idea what the, I'm sorry. Like Sharky, but he's, he's here to learn. But what? Bye. He's here to learn. Y'all right, been so, on dates and all y'all still single. <laughs> What's the point? Don't do dates. Don't date. Honestly, I'm just look for these people and just find what you got to find and just be done with it. Like, done. Not everybody's like you, though. Everybody's I'm not like saying you. sleep with them. I'm just saying, like, get what you need to get out of these people. So in other words, money when it comes to you. Are you, are you getting it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. yes girl. But, like, what, do you, what are topics guys should talk about? Like, um, talk like, about your, you know, occupation, what you do, your passions, your hobbies, your interests. You know, mm -hmm. ask questions about me, you know? Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> ask me something. Ask it's about all me. about me. Yeah. It's all about me. Show interest no? in, 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 the, in the person that you're with. I think um, listening, like when they ask, when you ask a question, actually listen to what she has to say. Yeah, you know, don't just ask yeah. questions to ask questions and open answers for both, yeah, and both if, sides. Yeah, if you're listening, then you will, the, the conversation will just flow. Just I feel like you can questions. find commonality and <laughs> like even if there's only like a few things you have in common, you can still talk about those things. Mm -hmm. Like don't make the date awkward. Mm -hmm. If like you're at this date and you're like, all right, we really don't have a lot in common. Like try to find something that you're at least can like talk about. You can about. always talk about coronavirus. What do yeah. you, you guys <laughs> Guys, you can't say corona. YouTube is going to block us. Yeah, they, they're going <laughs> to block us. I mean, that's yeah, what he said. Or she said, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. For some reason, they, they are like COVID-19? Yeah, you can't say COVID that's, either. That's why we post on Facebook. So make sure you share this, guys. Share this video, all right? I don't know for what reason, but because you love it. And me and Sharky, at the end of the show, we're gonna think, share it for Sharky. If you wanna go on a date with Sharky and oh. buy him dinner, <laughs> you know, he likes spicy chicken from Wendy's, just pass by Drew, drive through, <laughs> go by the beach, take some back door, sit in the that back. That is racist. How is that oh. racist? Yeah, it's cause you're trying to say like, I'm, I'm black, so I like chicken. <laughs> Stereotype. <laughs> Says the guy with a five-inch white dildo. I'm just saying, what's next? You gonna tell them buy me some Kool-Aid also? <laughs> I say what I say it and I'm into it. I feel like I should shut up at this point and I like dig my own fucking grave.
Do that. <laughs> Motherfucker. Why, if you why get the chance, so if you get the chance, you take her out someplace nice. Yes. Fancy. Yes. Yes. If you get the chance. Mm hmm. You gotta work for it though. That's keyword. If you don't just slide into Sharky's DM, like, hey, what are you doing? That's okay, I'm gonna come pick you up. And, no, like, send you, me a nude. You be a bar what? Just send a nude. To, to, to reconfirm <laughs> first that you wanna go out? Yeah, send me a nude. It's like a, like a little trial <laughs> pre. Like, you know what? That dick is good. I'll I take probably it. won't open the message if you just send the message. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna open it. All right. And, and, and when, when it comes to like hygiene, like, is it important for a guy to dress well, like have period? I mean, I don't yeah. care. You need to smell yeah. good. You just need to smell good. You smell nice, good. You need to clean. Groomed. Yeah, make yes. sure your nails are like nice and groomed as well. I mean, that mine's not as nice as Sharky, but like, <laughs> I like, see you cut your I, nails. I cut mine today, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so hygiene um, is important. Smell nice. Yeah, smell nice. Brush Definitely. your teeth, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah get some gum. And your tongue. A lot of people don't know that you're supposed to brush your tongue. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. Because like, that should be white and it's not cute. That's nasty. No. But it reach deep in the back and you know, really clean everything. Like yeah, you gotta like puke a little bit and then send it back. <laughs> <laughs> in other words, gag on your on your toothbrush. <laughs> but that's in Sharky's world. It's like it's practicing and warming up with later tonight. Oh boy, bye. <laughs> <This is> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> do you girls think hygiene is important? Yes, yes, girls. Do you think hygiene is? Important? I don't think that's a question. That's like natural. No, I know, but listen, I've seen guys like at where I work, Gusto. I've seen guys, but you hey, just said it. Gusto. Where you work? People don't work. I work at Gusto. Peter, Patrick, if you're watching this, sponsor my damn show. Oh, like come on. People just say they don't shower. Well, no, they shower. Yeah. <laughs> they they shower. They shower. Hundred percent. But come on. Peter, I know you watch this damn show. You told me you watch episode one and two. My manager watched this damn fucking show. Yeah, I know. So Peter, tell me power bottom water every time I go there. You know, I need to fucking take women to dinner and shit, and it's not cheap. Yeah, okay. don't just show up straight from the gym. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. you got some shade there. No, I finished working out. She landed early, and I was like, oh fuck! So I just left the gym and picked her up. And then after the gym, Renee Wilt, if you're watching, I'm sorry, we went to Urataka. Just in gym clothes? In gym clothes. Mm -hmm. So I guess hygiene is not that important for you. That's why yeah, you're so shocked. That's your own so advice. Honest. Why you're so it shocked. is. It's either I go home, okay, shower, but and for you, wait outside. But for you, is hygiene important it for is. a girl? Yeah, like dress well. Like I don't. I'm not really big on like overdressing. Like. You don't have to wear a super high heels, like tight dress. I don't care about that stuff. Like just for me, just casual, chill, flats, whatever, and just go out dinner where you talk. For me, it's more about the conversation mm -hmm, and getting mm -hmm. to know the person. Like you don't have to get But at least that they showered, no? Oh please. <laughs> and and like, you know, like do some cologne and shit. Like I don't care much about makeup or anything. So mm -hmm. like it's whatever. Mm -hmm. Like if you can handle a girl without her makeup and whatever. I feel like I'm gonna shut the fuck up. <laughs> This conversation is all over the fucking place. The girls is and I feel like you guys have been attacking me a lot today. Now, no. you no? just attack yourself most of the time. <laughs> that is true. I, I dig my own fucking grave. You've been doing that. So do you guys have any, I um, feel like we're reaching the end of this conversation, but do you guys have anything you guys want to add when it comes to the dating, like tips or advice for men or women? Even for women, like even from a women's perspective? or From talking? a woman's <laughs> perspective? Don't be so nervous. It's not that serious. Like, go be yourself. Like, you know, if you're going on a date, like, how important is this person really? You know, like, you're, yeah. you're going out to meet someone. Just, like, enjoy yourself. Don't be stressed out. Don't be nervous. Just, like, go And also, feel like, being, being yourself also eliminates the fact, like, if this person doesn't like you for who you are, then it makes your life easier down the road. Like, yeah. oh, it doesn't Done. like for me. Like, hey, bye, next. Mm -hmm. Right? And I think um, for women, I would say if you don't feel it, don't force it. You know, like that's. I've, Hold up. I, Didn't you just say like you went on one date, then you know I'm gonna force one more fucking because date? Because he, no, he, he planned the date on. Okay, the, okay. I wouldn't have done it. I, that's why I dreaded it. I hope it. you watch this fucking show. I'm I like, hope he doesn't. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, if you don't feel it, don't force it. Like yeah. the guy can be. There was nothing wrong. He's a nice guy, everything, mm. but. The, if the chemistry is not there, it, I don't believe that it's going to come. Mm -hmm. So um, if you don't feel it, don't force it. That's good. Advice. Sharky, although this topic does not apply much to you because you're all about being the side hoe, mm -hmm. the side hoe that you are. 
what anything you want to add to this conversation? No, I'm just don't go on dates. <laughs> but for real, we you, oh, you, wait, wait, wait. you would you would never go on a date. I don't I don't see the point of going on a okay. date. I'm not interested. Okay, much. okay, fine, fine. Wait, why did you look that way? I don't know. Why you just like Ahmad? Ahmad. No, I just saw. Now like, you're smiling. Like, what the fuck is wrong? With you? <laughs> Wait, you thought we went on a date or something? No, 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 no. no. Oh. I'm just saying, like I said, I will never go on a date. Can you look because I saw like a shadow here. So uh, I'm like, what the fuck? What is you going saw, on? shady bitch? No. Oh my god, you messy. Like this is messy. What's wrong? Like I feel like you're touching things. You're being distracted. Are you okay? Yes, Are you I'm blushing? I, I can't tell. For what? <laughs> on no dates. I mean, would you ever, what would it take for you to go on a date? Like, really, what would it take for a guy to take you on a date? Samia, so, yeah, I'm really not interested. Like, I'm I fuck, I but don't believe you. There has to be something. There has to be. Hey, I'm, stay, I'm staying in the penthouse at the Ritz. Would you like to go on a dinner with me at some point? I mean, I'm, I'm probably you can go out, but I don't care. So you would go on a date if it's, you know. I would not call it a date. If what, you're going to take me to a nice place to eat. What would you call it? Let's go. You're just going to take me out to eat somewhere nice. <laughs> so it's a free meal. Hell yes. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. So in other words, if you ever want to go to a date with Sharky, don't, don't fucking do it. <laughs> unless, all you, unless you have a lot of fucking money and you don't care about spending a few hundred dollars on this person over here. Yeah, you can and, just take me to a snack and truck and give me the snack. rest of the money. <laughs> <laughs> what, which, which snack truck? I don't care. Any snack truck. Any snack truck. First of all, I like Taco Bell. Why am I thinking about Taco Bell? Yeah, you're crazy. I know, right? Shout out to Pete or any other food truck in the island. I think I'm losing this conversation right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> so, sure. guys, um, forever, everybody's watching. You've heard from different people like about when it comes to dating. Everybody has a different perspective. <laughs> people over here have a different perspective. People over here, over here. Don't, don't even worry about what Sharky has to say. Worry with me. What? They should worry with me a little bit because a little feisty, you know. And people should be very worried, especially if they take if he if you take him out, be very careful. All right, just make sure you have a thick, thick, thick wallet and a five inch piece, <laughs> and then you'll be fine. All right, guys. But um, again, I want to say real quick. Um, I you have uh, last week on the episode we were doing a giveaway. We're doing a giveaway for uh, sex to see, um, and you do you have your winner? Yeah. I need to look real quick on my phone because I saw it and I forgot. That's sad. It. And do y'all know how to do like drum rolls? That's cute. Yeah, do that. Sam, do that. Wait, I'm looking for. Here, I found my too. winner. Ew. All right, so the, we're going to give away two sex toys from Sex to Sea. Don't take it. Two goodie bags from Sex to Sea for the first winner goes to. Come on. Like now something popped up. Stop it. <laughs> it is for Shadi Kelly. That's who I had. Who's Shadi Kelly? I don't know. Her name was Shadi Kelly. <laughs> Shadi Kelly, if you're she listening. She shared it. Well, if, thank you for sharing, Shadi. And if you're watching this, please contact us either on Lead Studios uh, Facebook page or Instagram. Please reach out to us so we can reach out to you, so we can give you a goodie bag. And you know what? Maybe we should bring her on the next episode. Who knows? I mean, you're giving away the, the guy one, right? Yeah. So it's a cockroach. I hope you have a, a boyfriend, husband, or a side guy. Hopefully. That you can call and come over here. I got this cock ring. Let's try it out. And for me, a drum roll, please. Oh, okay. The winner on my end is Sharissa de Ru. Sharissa, she Ow, shared it. that's my girl. You know her? Yes. There you go. She said, I love this show. I can't wait to see more. Sharissa, you won a nice, if you're, I think, I see a picture of you and, and the guy. Eduardo. Ooh, he okay. don't have fun. Well, I mean, not really. It's a vibrator, so, like, if he's not, you know, pleasing you the way he should, and he's, like, he wants to tap out, like, every now and then, then just, you can go to the bathroom, and it's waterproof. You can use it on yourself and have a good time in the shower. You don't need, what's his name? Eduardo? Edgardo. Edgardo? Her man is fine. I'm sorry. Bro, I love you, but your man <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> what happened to, what happened to Jair? He's still my man. I'm a host. Um, what is wrong? <laughs> like, he knows this. Guys, once again, I want to thank everybody for watching the third episode Third episode of No Filter in Paradise. Don't forget to share this uh, this little show. Make sure to comment if you like the show. If you want to comment on certain topics uh, about dating, do's and don'ts. What do you think about sex and kissing on the first date? What do you think about a guy paying? What do you think about Sharky breaking Ahmar's object head for 10 years? 
You fucking asshole. You didn't even admit to it. So, shout out to everyone who's watching. If Make sure you like at least two years of on Facebook. Make sure you like and, and Instagram. And also follow El No Filter in Paradise on Instagram because we're going to be asking a lot of questions about future topics. We're going to be posting random fucking shit. <laughs> a lot of memes about Sharky because he likes to be extra and fucking dramatic. I broke it. What's that? I broke it. Whatever. Yeah, say it again. And he's embarrassed. Are you sorry? I am. Like, I did not break it on purpose. I swear to God. I'm so sorry. Are you, uh, well, to, for a makeup, Ahmad, I'm, gonna, I'm looking at Ahmad. Will you accept yes, he already his did. apology? He already did. If he takes you to go eat somewhere and have a good uh -uh, time. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yes or no? Guys, if you think, if you think Sharky should take Ahmad uh -uh. on a dinner, As an apology, comment yes, yes, yes in the comment below. Thank you for watching. We'll see y'all on the next episode, episode four of No Filter. Thank you for coming. See y'all next week. Bye. Hola, Camisto. Hey, yo, what's up? This is No Filter in Paradise.